part of the land of Macedonia, stamped with the memories of many historical period in archaeological sites of international renown. This is Imathia. Its deep religious vein can be traced in its many Byzantine churches and monasteries. remains bear witness to the sophisticated civilizations of the past. Among beautiful mountain landscapes, towns rich in history and important examples of traditional architecture, are to be found the traces of a civilization which has lived through the Hellenistic, Byzantine and Christian periods. This is an area, the prefecture of Imathia, strewn with evidence of centuries of human presence and creativity, coming face to face with the present in a dynamic process of development. From Vergina to Veria and Nausa, from Meliki to Alexandria, Plati, Irinupoli and Rodochori, Imathia has a unique identity to offer visitors. The land of Imathia is a vast museum. Every stone tells a story from the past. The natural wealth of Imathia has attracted various peoples and tribes at different knives. Here, at the foot of the Pieria mountain range, where Virginia stands today, the Macedonians, a Hellenic race related to the Dorians, founded their capital, Aes, and Imathia became the heart of the Macedonian kingdom. Here there still beats the heart of Philip and Alexander the Great, one feels it on encountering the royal tombs with their extraordinary wall paintings and legendary treasures which accompanied the illustrious dead to their final resting place, the like of which have never been crafted before or since by human hand, displaying the perfection of the art and civilization of the ancient Macedonians. Macedonian tombs of the area of Lefkadia are linked to celebrated Macedonian rulers, veterans of the great Asian campaigns, who returned to be buried in their native soil. Not far away is the school of Aristotle, where Alexander the Great was taught by the illustrious Greek philosopher in the area of ancient Mieza. Macedonians, the administrative and economic center of the region. Many findings from this period are to be seen in the town's archaeological museum. From all sides, a rich variety of Hellenic influence. The soil and the tombs of Macedonia never cease to reveal more and more of the life and history of the civilization of Greece. particularly the town itself, flourished during the Byzantine period. This is evident from the remains of both secular and religious buildings with their wonderful mosaics. Eight 
Byzantine and post-Byzantine churches are to be found today in the town, 40 of them containing wall paintings dating from the 12th to the 18th century. A dreamlike world of spirituality for the pilgrims come to worship these creations, bearing witness for centuries now to depth of the Christian faith. Varia was twice visited by St. Paul, apostle to all the nations of the earth, who came to proclaim the new Christian faith. The holy monasteries and churches scattered throughout Imathea are places of pilgrimage for thousands of visitors each year, located at places where you almost seem to be touching the sky and the Almighty himself. First among them is Panagia Sumela in the rich verge of Vermio. Monasteries and churches, sanctuaries where the spirit of orthodoxy in Greek civilization is preserved. chance the senses. Wherever you go, at whatever time of year, the lush forests of Imathea are there for mountain tourism, excursions, walks and exercise. of St. Nicholas at Nausa with the river Ara Pizza offer walks and experiences of rare charm, while the town's park is a place of unique beauty. sounds merge in harmony where the blue of the sky meets the green of the earth. Through a valley separating the ranges of Vermeer and Pieria, its water is augmented by the dams made by man, flows the river Aliakman, slow and majestic, through a unique alpine landscape. A region endowed with infinite natural beauties is an endless combination of colors and sounds. Imathea, where the sense of the earth madden our senses. The mountain range of Vermeer gives the prefecture an additional attraction which draws numerous visitors. Vermeer is a mountain rich in natural beauties and in historical memories too. Its rich green colors, abundant water and excellent climate make it ideal for sport and pleasure for every lover of mountains, of nature and of ecology. The beauty of the forest rests and relaxes us, improves our spirits and gives us a sense of health and well-being.
Bono. Hey, Gilles, we have a say. How does it go again? I don't remember. Well, what's that supposed to mean? All right. How much longer can he do that? My brother is a world champion. Sign. Suddenly, nature changes. The earth is all dressed in white. For friends of winter sports, Vermeer offers the pleasure of discovering secret trails of extraordinary beauty, hidden and unknown to many. Here are located two of our country's biggest ski centers, Selly and 3-5 Pigalia combining slopes for recreational and more serious skiing with children's playgrounds, endurance trails, walking and climbing paths, excellent snow conditions, easy access and ample parking. Are you Dr. Lerner? No, I'm the assistant. Welcome to Peru. El Proximo Paradero es bien el lago del demonio. Roberto. What? Roberto. What? Roberto. Que volio? Roberto. Ma Dio son desmuenzo. What? Mio palmo. Exactly, do you want to know? Everything. Everything about what? About everything. Mamma mia. As I was telling you earlier, I am the world champion free diver. Some people say it's the most derived sport in the world. One asks what means that when you see those men diving head first in that deep blue sea, our muscles contracted in one super Enzo. human effort. Wow! Mama? Dove? descending the slopes of enchanting natural landscape. The ski schools, restaurants, refugees, hotel and entertainment facilities are ever ready to welcome and cater for the friends of winter sports in all a hospitable environment. Unrivaled natural beauties in a magical landscape, ideal for touring, exploring and relaxing holidays. Two ski centers, the beauty of their surroundings, the richness of the local life, a superb climate. Nature and man in a magical coexistence that has endured for centuries. Here, in Imathia, here in the glorious images of winter's day, sun, fresh snow, crisp, clean air, the breathtakingly beautiful mountain, skis, skates, wonderful images and jumps. It must be something like this in paradise.
traditional communities of the region with a characteristic Macedonian architecture, units past and present in a variety of colors, decorative features, and genuine vernacular architecture. The elaborate manor and townhouses of the gentry, the lovingly tented houses of the ordinary folk, delight your eye and invite you to grow more familiar with the beauty and simplicity. Walking through the old neighborhoods, you will come across images you thought belonged to times long gone by. The old quarters preserve all their old charm and warmth. The colors, materials, and techniques of vernacular Macedonian architecture create a harmonious ensemble satisfying the senses and resting the eye. with a lively enjoyment of the present, playing an active, creative part in every manifestation of contemporary life. The town's prosperous commercial centers and the daily business of its hospitable inhabitants give the place a special flavor for the visitor who has the opportunity to purchase local products, especially the local food, famous for its quality. crossroads here too of the local winemaking industry. The grapes and wine make their way through some of the most picturesque sites in the wine growing region. Locations with delightful views, vineyards and wine factories, leading us on a tour of the world of wine, teaching us a finer appreciation of its pleasures. One of the most important wine producing regions is Nausa, with its wines of exceptional color, bouquet and flavor. of history but of hospitality too. In the prefecture of Himathia, Zeus Xenius, Zeus the hospitable, continues to duel. A tradition of service, a pleasure taking in the offering of service, having their source in the warmth and hospitality of the local people. A hospitality itself deeply rooted in Greek tradition. The people of Imathia feel a delight in their everyday lives manifested in all sorts of events. The daily round is interspersed with a variety of intellectual and artistic events on the streets, in the town squares, in the theatres, everywhere. Dozens of groups from all over the world participate in events held every year all around in prefecture, bringing together different cultures and people.
as night falls, the city comes to life, apparels itself in a party clothes and sets sail for the land of imagination and dreams. Wandering from one picturesque tavern to the next, listening to the sounds of music, enjoying the refreshing vitality of the young people in the place.